the past few years I worked in San Diego, California and once in a bookshop I saw a very beautiful book called Embers by a Hungarian writer Maraj Sándor and I read this book and it had a fascinating atmosphere of sort of the old world uh, that was completely different from Southern California where I was living and then I see that the writer actually died in San Diego. In fact, he was in exile and eventually committed suicide in San Diego. I wanted to find out more about this writer, where he lived, where his ashes were scattered. They were scattered in the Pacific Ocean. And I was trying just to understand his life. And then I saw an advertisement for a writer in residence position here at the Institute for Advanced Studies. The topic was space and place, so I tried applying and connected to Shandor Marai and to myself. Shandor Marai conceived of Hungarian language as his homeland. He had a spatial understanding of his own mother tongue and that is maybe the most interesting result. Plus, I have visited the places that his life had connection with, such as Kosice, the former Kasha, Budapest, his places in Budapest, and uh, San Diego, obviously. And I tried to see if in these places he and I meet in a way, uh, or maybe we didn't meet. And so I, that's how I organized the project. This fellowship allowed me to have time. It allowed me to have my own space, both in an office here and in my apartment in um, our guest house. And it allowed me the opportunity to talk to the most interesting people, both in Hungary and the foreigners who came to stay here. Here as an artist, as a writer, you're not just left to your own devices, but instead you're constantly in dialogue with people from other domains and fields and intellectual subjects. And I found that extremely enriching. And writing is a very lonely job. It gives you release from that loneliness and it also gives you inspiration. Institute for Advanced Studies was the most exciting place I've ever been. I loved everybody whom I have encountered here. I'm extremely impressed by the concept of this university that is so international and has people from all over the world and everybody's kind of equal and everybody's there for the intellectual adventure. I had high expectations because one hears so much about the city and I know I knew that it will be a city that's very beautiful at the same time very melancholy, very much connected to famous writers and poets and having many great cafes where these writers and poets could write and discuss their work. And everything I was expecting I have encountered here and more and more. It's really, that's a city where you must write poetry, the city for poets, I would say.